Hello our viewers, thank you for tuning in. It's your host Mebo as always. I'm always glad to be a part of this show and I'm always glad that you're always tuning in and ready to hear from what's coming from out and proud conversations and stories. And today we're going to be discussing a few things regarding the LGBTIQ plus community. And of course we have news for you to share and good news and sad news and well it's quite a lot. If it's your first time to join us, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click on the bell notification for to know to get notified whenever we are tuned in. Um, my friends are going to introduce themselves. Hello everyone. I'm known by the names of Rachel Gimbo from uh, from Uganda and I'm happy to be here on Out and Proud YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Christian Kikemgomo, originally from Cameroon, a proud gay man and a proud member of Out and Proud African LGBTI. Hi everyone. My name is Bridget Kunedun. I'm from Ghana and I'm a proud lesbian. And I'm happy to be here for a discussion. Thank you. Yes, our first topic today is going to be about Ama Governor. I don't know if you've heard about her. She's um, she's a Ghanaian YouTuber, very popular among well, especially the African community and especially in Ghana. Ama is a law student and she's done her law course and she's been going at uni for the longest while, well, you know how long the law courses take. But recently, when she was supposed to be doing her bar, she was refused. All this is because she's part of the LGBTQ plus community. What are your thoughts on this? First and foremost, um, I'll say I'm a little bit, I'm disappointed, not even a little bit, because I'm also a Ghanaian and, and she's from my country. And as young as she is, she's just 24 and she's done well. She's been to the law school for for eight years. I don't know how old she was before she started. You could see that she's a very um, brilliant lady, a socialist, an out person. She's not shy of who she is. And um, she's been defending LGBT people from being attacked. She's been coming out. And it's rather unfortunate that banned her they didn't call her to the bar when they caught everybody they didn't call her it all started when um there's this guy mm. that was um holding um an umbrella with many colors you know the colors of the rainbow mm. and they started screaming at the guy like in the language like look at this lgbt guy coming look at this lgbt guy coming one thing the guy did not do was to turn back mm. he was just walking and walking and walking if he should have turned back, they would have beaten him to death. And um, it's when someone took a video of it and the person posted it on TikTok, Facebook, mm -hmm. and it went viral. And the lady saw it and she was like, this is not fair. Because we live in a country that even if um, a guy puts on makeup, the person is an LGBTQ person. And if you say something about it, they are going to beat you without anybody supporting you. So the lady come out, came out and it sh it, she was like, it's not fair. You can't see someone holding common an umbrella be calling the person's name. The person did not come to you to tell you that I'm part <coughs> or I'm part of this LGBTQ. So how why must you be saying such things? So it's not good. Whoever I or anybody wants to be with should not be your problem. And it's about time you stop doing all those kind of things, calling people's name and judging people by what they wear, what they hold, and all those kind of things. That's what she said, and um, they took it. And they reported her for misconduct because they said she's broken the law. So they so were calling everybody to the bar and they didn't call her. Yeah, so basically it's like she just stood out like, you know, from for um for someone. Yeah. Well, this person, I don't even know if he is actually LGBT, the person who had the umbrella. Because if not really like people have not really followed up to see. It might have just been someone, like, you know, it's raining and you got you have a rainbow colored umbrella you and that's it yourself you can use yes. anything and it yes. it was because of her reaction to what was happening and how this man was being um abused yeah. publicly for only having an umbrella uh, according to me i'm really shocked about what is happening to ama governor she's only 24 and look what is happening to her and then that's just a real example of people uh, lgbt community being discriminated in africa yeah. yeah, and well, just imagine what's happening because I think we got to know about this. The world is now hearing about this yeah. because she's a YouTuber, like she's known, she's famous. She's famous, yeah. She yeah. has like, you know, she has like, is it six, over 6,000 followers, followers, followers yeah. on her 
only on her Instagram. Yeah. Like 70k followers on her TikTok. She has that is why we are knowing about her, about her. But just imagine all the people who don't have like they don't have any followers or they're not known in any way. Because I think this is not just happening to her. It happens like everywhere in African communities. This is going to happen. Trust me, it's going to happen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to spread in most of the African countries. Because the, the thing is, it's happening already. We just do not get to know about all these stories, yeah, all these yeah. things. Because the people it, who are being affected, the people who are being chased out of schools, chased out of employment, the people who are being like, you know, chased out of communities, I don't know, abused, arrested, and physically and mentally and emotionally insulted and assaulted they are not known they are not celebrities but it is happening a lot a lot a lot and i think this should be an eye opener to well to people who are unaware and especially to the western countries so they know what really happens in our communities Community, back home yeah, yeah. you know the question is you know um must it be because of her comment you know this person wants you know to go to law school in ghana is not easy if you don't have the money you can't go if you if you saw them the, when they were graduating. You, you could sell rich people, you know those who have the money. You know this person has paid school fees for eight years, mm. and in law school you can't pay half of the school fees. It's not free. Nothing is free. This person is having a family. It's the parents they paid for. Mm. She has to attend all the lectures for eight good years. Must that happen to her? Doesn't you know? You know, in my country, they say freedom and justice. You have the right. You have the freedom to say everything that you need to say. You are not the. You are entitled to do whatever you want. So, doesn't she has the right to come out with something? The guy could have died because I know my country. We are very good in lynching people. Mm. We are very good in killing people ourselves. We don't even wait for the police to come in. She has been supporting LGBTQ people for a very long time, and again, me people know. So I don't see any big deal. Out of it that they need to say that it's a misconduct. Because I've been um, I've been trying to check all like on some social media platforms, and I don't think they will change their mind. I don't think they'll let her do the bar because many people are coming up and you know and saying all homophobic statements. Homophobic statements, yeah. Like people from the government, political leaders, like like. Christian leaders, everyone is like, she should be like, you know, banished. They should not let her. She's influencing, you know. She's a shame. She's brought shame to the university. To the, to the university. So, you know, uh, I think this whole um, her being banned has brought about, I think maybe even people who were like following her and, well, maybe they just didn't know what the word queer means. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah, yeah. even <laughs> people who were following her before, like they've just been like shaming her and you know insulting her yeah, and saying things exactly left and right. Yeah. But they've been following her for for the longest while. Yeah. So I think this whole situation, like her being banned, is going to really put her in a very, very, very bad, risky I'm sure she position. Her life is going to be at stake. Yeah, of course. Imagine you going, 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 going to school for already. eight years. Even you need four years. Already. Yeah, imagine you going to school for eight good years. You need four years. You can't even. You is so. It's too much. Mm. And you're going to school for four years. And law, you need to be on That's top. That's quite a long time. <laughs> yes, on our second round, we're going to be talking about <laughs> football. As you all are aware, World Cup is starting very soon. And yes, we do have a few of our African countries which will, which manage to be part of it. And yeah, our sister here is from Ghana. And Ghana is one of the countries. And um, Cameroon also is going to be part of World Cup. Yes. Yeah. So guys, what... Well, are you ready to bring the cup home? <laughs> My country, for instance, we are bringing the cup to Africa. I love because, you know, Ghana is the, you know, Ghana is the gateway to Africa. So, you know what? <laughs> we are coming with the cup. So, we are praying that you guys should support us. So, which, which team are you playing with first? We are <laughs> <laughs> I love the confidence. Okay. We are, we are playing with Senegal. Forget about you know, those people. We have, we, we have the team, you know. Okay. We are talking about the IU brothers. These two brothers has been in has been playing for Ghana for a very long time. Their dad played. Hey, and my the, dear. You know, we my are dear. please. 
please just oh, right. support us we are bringing we, the cup we to are, Ghana we are supporting and to Africa. Africa you know so, of yes, course Mr. Of course. Cameroon Christian what do you have to say she says she's taking the cup <laughs> what she's saying is wrong uh-huh. what? The, cup is, the cup is coming back to Cameroon uh-huh. hey. we, got, we got one of the best players in Cameroon with Vincent Bakai is a really good player hey. I'm uh-huh. sure for the first match I, th- I think the first match will be the Switzerland mm. yeah, if, I'm, okay. if, if I remember we are sorry some of the African countries did not qualify. It's not our fault. <laughs> so I, I, we are I, praying. Are you talking after. about Uganda? Oh, are you talking I, about Uganda? It's not just Uganda. only Uganda. <laughs> I can't support Ghana. What should I support Ghana when Cameroon is, is participating? Oh, it's, it's, it's impossible. I need to support my country. Why? Cameroon. Cameroon? And we did qualify in the last minute. So we got all the privilege. You said last minute? The last minute. We, we, we didn't qualify that. We qualified... The first, the, f- the first, just it's not the last minute. But don't, don't forget our netballers. Oh, God. Our we, are not we, are not we are not playing. We are not playing. Number five. We are not playing netball. We are playing World yeah, Cup football. Okay. We are saying football. We are saying netball. We are saying what? Well, Forget about the football. The ball is wrong for <laughs> everybody. <laughs> yeah, you, you, win you guys <laughs> cannot pass by Portugal. Argentina. Forget Brazil. about. I said forget. Okay. Forget about Ronaldinho, forget about Messi, Wait. forget about <coughs> Ronaldo. And, uh, forget about all of the, those people. Could they you, are old. Could we you have please kindly just send us reminders of, of course. whenever Ghana is playing. Because yeah, we exactly. need we to we watch watch you. Yeah. Yeah. just we watch need this game and you. see how Ghana is going to smash Argentina with let's say six to zero. And you <laughs> but you can't beat Argentina. It's we a big, it's a big, it's a big team for you guys. Platform. You can't beat Argentina. We shall come back on this same platform. Are you for real? Mm. Yeah. You will see the squad. Ghana cannot beat Argentina. Are you for real? Yeah, of course, you see. Okay. <clears throat> that being said, the World Cup is happening in yeah. Qatar. Qatar is known to be a very homophobic country where being part of the LGBTIQ plus community is punishable by death. Yeah. Literally, I would say many um, people who are part of the LGBTIQ plus community were kind of cut off. Because you don't know if you're, you're a fan, maybe you would like to go and support, maybe your teams. But then there's all these laws and, you know, it's not safe. It's not safe for, you know, uh, people to be down there. Because so, you don't know what will happen. Well, um, recently... Um, Peter Tacho, I think some of you have seen the news and yeah. Well, yeah, on the yeah. post as well. Yeah, yeah. He went there to campaign for the same cause and he was arrested. He was arrested. And these people, yeah. like uh, the ambassador, is, the ambassador said they would not tolerate, they would not tolerate homosexuality or any people from the LGBTI plus Q community because it, um, it is haram. It is haram and it is uh, there's a there's a word he used. Um, madness damage. The mad- it's, yeah. a damage. <coughs> it's a damage. It's a damage of the brain. brain. Yeah. So confused. they won't tolerate. Yeah. They won't tolerate damaged brained yeah. people. Wow. Yeah. That is very harsh. Very harsh yeah. and rude. Right. And it's 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 a shame that he said that because you know people tag LGBT people as confused. You are so confused. You don't know what you want. You are like this. You are like that. So. Mm. And it's a sin, you know, um, haram is something that um, the, our Muslim brothers used to say something that it's a sin, something that they cannot tolerate. Yeah, even the very officials, the fact that the very officials, like people in higher places who you would maybe expect to maybe like implement some kind of maybe laws or policies to keep the LGBTIQ plus community safe. They're contradicting each other. They're not, well, one is saying this and then another one is saying this. Yeah. But, well, they're all... S- they're all doing this right now because of the World Cup. But previously, they're all on the same page. It's haram, 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 haram. Exactly. They don't uh, moment. Yeah, yeah. And um, on still, in, um, well, the World Cup itself has brought up all this. Well, I think it's exposed Qatar as a country. Exactly. Yeah. And it's homophobic ways. And mm-hmm. all the homophobic people there, or especially people in higher places. And well, Peter Tacho is really doing a great job. Yeah. He That's is doing I mean. so, so, so good. He is unbelievably. Yeah. I can't even put to words what I can say about him. But then again, he's standing up for human rights. He's standing up for LGBTI plus Q community rights. Yes. And we are so in support of that. And tomorrow we're going to be having a demonstration at Qatar Embassy. Yeah. <clears throat> as part of the LGBTIQ plus community, as 
out and proud. We're going to go there and show our discontent about what is happening and about what they're doing to the LGBTI plus Q community. We are back again <coughs> for our last segment of our YouTube sh- um, conversations today. So we had, um, we spoke about uh, Ama, governor, a Ghanaian, and then we went all the way to Qatar, and then we spoke about World Cup and all the African teams which are playing. Now, the hot topic, the, one. the hottest topic, the one is the out and proud African LGBT I end of year party. 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 Yeah. party after party. Is it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, are you ready? Definitely ready. Of Guys, course. This don't say I didn't warn you. You have to come and experience mm-hmm. what is going to happen. Okay. You did. The, I won't be tell. I will tell you about what's going to happen down there. But listen, I think it's best you come and get the information, the detail, the nyamachoma, the smart people, <laughs> the music, first hand. <laughs> The music, everything. You need to come and experience this yourself. Because if you miss out, tell you kulala, I'm telling you. You miss your life. This is it. You're going to be missing out for 2022 life's event. So you just be there, show up. You only have to pay 35 pounds and you'll have your food covered, your drinks covered, and the, the beers, the champagnes, the, the wines, the whiskeys, well. every day. The entertainment, the music. You have the best DJs in the house. Hey, you know, we're going to have a mix of this and that. Africa in one bundle: Cameroon, Ghana, Nigeria, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. But just be there. What a mixture! It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very lovely experience. Come and see culture. Come and see Africa. Preach it. See, preach it, girl. Yes, we're bringing Africa. We're bringing Cameroon, Ghana, Tanzania. Mm. In London Nigeria. at Longfield Hill on the 3rd of December this very on year. On one floor, in one hall, same DJs, food, everything. Just okay. in that same night, mm-hmm. this is where all this is going to be happening. Oh, come experience. <laughs> Came and experience the most. It's going to be massive. You come see and see vibe. how this LGBTIQ people are going to express themselves. The way they vibe, eh? You get the your kanzu, You get the gomesi. <laughs> I've got the Take sample. Take a picture of my lovely hat, please. <laughs> are you a, this is from Cameroon. Of, of course, Cameroon. it's a sample. It's a sample. Oh wow, that's nice. It's yeah, been it's very, very nice. Yes. You know. Yeah, you put it. Well, it's so been three hundred and sixty-five days. You know, yeah. you've been able to. So you can. It's a lovely you need to come hat. And smash it, you know. Well, just well, come I and conclude the 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 the, 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 year. the the year with um with. It's a party, you know. Traditional vibes. Yes. Traditional maybe, vibes. Maybe things didn't go so well for you this yes, year. Yes, of course. Well, sorry, life happens. But that's what life is all about. Come and... At least you are still alive. You are still alive. Yeah, so yes. you need to enjoy yourself. You're still alive. Yeah. You're there. Come, <laughs> just be there. Okay? Yeah. Just be there. It's going to be, be a lot of performance yeah. myself. I'm going to perform a lot of music there. Oh, hey, really? Gonna perform, so <laughs> you're going to perform. And enjoy. Hey. There's one song I'm going to perform. Really? Okay. With my lovely dress. Oh. 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 Do you think we should live stream? Of course. of course. What is it red about? Red carpet. We need to. We need to do we red carpets, live. you know. <laughs> At least we need to appreciate each and every country's culture. So the red carpet is going to flow. You tell us what you are wearing, what inspired you to wear it, and all this kind That's of stuff. That's a good idea. You know? There should be a red it. carpet. There should be a red carpet. An interview. Yeah. You know, you need to smash it. You need to look nice. You mm-hmm. need to... On point, you know, you need to dress to impress, dress to kill. That's that's it. that's, that's yeah. it. Well, in summary, I've seen the vibe and the excitement. So, you guys, I need. Well, I have a question. You're going to tell our viewers your opinion and well, what out and proud means to you. I'll start with you, Rachel. You have the brightest smile. Out and proud, mm-hmm. African LGBT. To me, it is home. When I'm with my Fellow members, I'm home. Mm-hmm. He welcomed me. I didn't know where to go, but out and proud welcomed me with open hands. So I'm always home with my family, happy, enjoying. That's what out and proud means to me. <coughs> yes, Christian. Tell our viewers, what does out and proud mean to you? For me, out and proud means everything, no. including happiness, family, 
since I joined Art and Broad, mm. they all welcome me as a brother. You see, I feel at home. There's nothing I can say about Art and Broad. Oh. They make me so happy to be who I am, oh. to express myself oh. and live my life to the fullest. Oh. So I will say thank to Art and Broad for whatever they have done for me oh. in my life. That's nice. Uh, welcome on behalf of Art and Broad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Bridget, tell us. For me, in one word, it's a saving grace. Mm. It's a saving grace. Because when I found this group, I've been saved. And um, it's life. Mm. It's life. Because you living inwardly, you are dead. And then it's like someone calling you back to life. Mm. Yeah, so that's what it means. It's a saving grace and it's life. So thank you to out and proud African LGBTQ for giving us our lives and making us happy. Thank you all. Yes, that is what out and proud is all about. Out and proud is all about family and yeah. love and existing. Mm. Out and out, out and proud we exist. Yes. Yes. All glory exist. belongs to out and proud. But one oh. thing. Follow Opal we exist uh, Opal twenty ten on TikTok. Yes. Follow Opal we exist on Instagram. Yes. Follow Out and Pre- Out and Proud African LGBT on Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Follow us on Twitter as well. And another thing on my TikTok account, don't forget to follow Lucky Rare twenty four. <laughs> Facebook <laughs> Rachel Gimbo. Instagram. Rachel Gimbo, you're all welcome. If you feel like talking to us, we don't beat people. We welcome. We're just welcome. Come, 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 come. Yes, come and we talk to you. We out and proud. We are always happy. Mm. Out and proud means happiness. You're saying the vibe. Out and proud means <laughs> happy to be who you are. Exactly. So please come and enjoy the vibe on the 10th of December, please. Thank you. Thank you so much for following our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for loving Out and Proud. Thank you so much for supporting us. We love you all, and we're always happy that, well, I didn't mean to say that. We love you all, and we hope you love us back the same. Yes, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Press on the bell icon for notifications for whenever we are tuned in. And yes, stay tuned for more. Out and proud, one love. Out and proud, mathematically. One love, out and proud. <laughs>